Hey guys, and welcome back to more Planet Base. So I did advance time a little bit here because both my robots are down, this person was sleeping. So since the person was sleeping, there's nothing we could have done. I don't know why he won't repair my bots. That would be my number one priority right now. Because those bots could be doing work, they're actually losing integrity. Bots lose integrity over time. So. Like, I realize this used a lot of my energy, but... I'd rather not run out of energy, so. So you're actually gonna go fix the bots now. Like seriously, the bots need to be fixed. That's probably the most important thing this guy could do. Now he's gonna go eat a meal. Like I don't want to set anything else down. But yeah, I, these bots need to be fixed. Now he's gonna, probably gonna go make those beds, which the bot could be doing. Okay, so finally he's going to go fix the bots. Like to me that'd be like the most important priority in this whole base. So I did realize you can increase and decrease priority of certain tasks, which is pretty cool. Okay, good. So now we want to actually set stuff to build. Now that these guys are back up and running. So what else do we need? Like I said, we're running kind of low on um, metal now. Oops, don't do that. Shoot. I always hit that button accidentally. Okay, so this can't make anything that we can make. Because the thing is, we're going to need spare parts eventually here. So the factory. So. So factory as would probably be pretty good here. Just want to check his factory terminating structure. It shouldn't be, but we'll double check. Did I lose it again? Factory. No, it is not. Okay. So I think we only have like a couple mil left, so. Now that we have our guys set up and these guys are back rolling because here one thing I can show you is if you look at bots, bots can perform some simple attacks more efficiently than humans. They can be person traders or from the robots facility. They don't eat, sleep or breathe but they do need to be maintained by an engineer. And this can automatically be done by a bot repair later on which is what we're going to definitely go for. So bots of live nice then after a certain amount of time, they'll cease to operate but will have to be recycled. This is inflected by the integrity bar in their thing. Bots are really, really good. So you can even have a drill bot, extract ore in the mine, this reduce the amount of workers, has sent mines, which is a good thing, as it's usually a very important job. If you have an all about pair, the drill will automatic back base to self repair when required. So that getting a bot facility up is going to be very important. However, we need the factor first. But yeah, he's just gonna go back and forth, fill it up. This guy's gonna help him. So these bots, just amazing. Humans are stupid, they're clumsy, they're useless, while bots are amazing. As long as a stupid, clumsy, and useless human can figure out their crap. So. But like I said, need to get this factory up to even get our bots going. We also need to get this stuff carried in before it continues to de decay. Stuff in here um, won't don't won't decay. So, where stuff sitting out here will, even stuff sitting on the floor will decay. So, we got. These guys are eating my rice. I didn't make the rice so you guys could eat it. Oh, so we can actually hit the limit now. So, um, base management, manufacturing limits. Probably, honestly, probably don't need more, any less than 10. Bots. Let us set everything to 10 for now. 
Maybe we can even set that to 20. I said no. Medical supplies, we can probably just leave an infinite. And 20. Just so we don't have like people just wasting all their time and resources doing that. So there is some metal left. Oops, I don't want to do that. So I get semiconductors, weapons, and spares. Like I said, just in case, I think it's important to get the spares thing up. Because if we run out of spares, pretty much spares are used to maintaining. Um, the turbines and other things so don't know how much you how quickly you go through spares but like I said I feel it's important to make sure that this stuff is kind of getting done kind of want to see someone do this with a processor but robotics facility Yeah, we can go over here. Collect her up. Actually, no. I want to get rid of that for now. Because it's going to make the whole path there longer. Hmm. I don't think we have too much of a choice, actually. It doesn't really make it too much longer, so. Yeah, never mind, I'm stick with that then. And there's not too much stuff actually, honestly, left to carry in. I put kind of a priority on that. So. Next, go and get starch, and then it's going to put in the bioplastic processor. Oh wait, I, I can build stuff here. So, medical supplies aren't really our huge priority. So, viral meat, I'm not that worried about at the moment. Perfect. So do we have, yeah, I don't think we have any more swords, just pending on getting these resources into the proper machine. So, carrying the medical supplies to the medical cabinet. Medical cabinet can hold four medical supplies, then they're there when they're needed. Sandstorm imminent. So. Okay. That'd be a good thing to have, but how much does it cost? Two to four, yeah. So don't quite have the stuff. Hopefully people are just smart enough not to go outside in a solar flare, which doesn't look like they are. Or sorry, in a sandstorm. I don't know, it doesn't look like they're too badly off. This seems to be producing <laughs> max amounts of electricity. sleeping, he's getting a meal. What are you eating? Probably won't tell me, but... Thing is, we're making lots of food. Oh, do you not have anything to do right now? Well, why aren't you? Yeah. In a sandstorm, it's just racking them. Like, you can see how slowly this stuff is going down. Probably not a great thing to have is out robots out in the sandstorm. Can he not carry anything? Okay. But will not yeah, he will not do anything that's not he doesn't deem as important. Oh, Jesus Christ, you don't have to go over there to get meals. Like there are meals in the 
I can't wait till this stuff's all carried in. This thing is there's meals in the base. It's actually getting just a stockpile of onions and vegetables and stuff. But no point with cycling it. But what I get I would get materials back. Yeah. I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't the potatoes are even making enough food. I don't really need more. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how long this sandstorm's gonna go on. Oh, now he's injured. Because he's out in the fucking sandstorm. I want the communication center to be somewhere that was closer to my main base. So that was kind of a design flaw. Because if I build it here, it's not too far from everything else. But. So, or. So mostly I'm just dependent on the mine. I guess I even. Well, I can't really make a second mine because I don't have enough iron, so. Oh, he can! But I think he can only carry it so far. He is going to go work in the mine. So that would be a good thing, to, that'd be a good note, make more in one mine. Because right now I'm just stuck on how much um, iron I can produce. They should be putting this mine through the metal processor which just has an increased priority but no one seems that interested in doing it so yeah so I think anybody can use the metal processor maybe not but I'm sure my other workers aren't that busy. Like seriously, look at how much ore there is in here. But they're not doing anything with. Like, and there shouldn't be any reason why these guys aren't making anything. There shouldn't be any reason, I would think. Okay, enable it. Like, it's on high priority. Like, you would think high priority means to actually get stuff done, not just do nothing. But no. It's even full. Well, if I turn this down... Or is it because they're both in high priority? Maybe. Maybe both can't be on high priority? Okay, well I guess that makes... Guess, well, it doesn't really make sense, but I guess it's... Something. Holy shoot, that was right in front of my base. Okay, so I guess you can't have two things on high priority. Oops. Don't want to put nothing in mine. 
How many workers do I have? I don't think it should be too crazy important. There is someone working in there. So. So yeah, now he can go get metal to go use to finish off the box facility. Which is perfect. So yeah, we're making some progress. Finally, with learning that two priorities can't be set for some odd reason. So, I want to make extra starch. Um, I don't think I'm really that low on bioplastic, so not really. Or do I even have... Oh, you can go here. Oops. Okay. So, do I have extra starch? I don't I just have the starch that's in there. But I don't think we're really hurting for starch. But, well... Okay, so now... We can go... I want to make another mine. No clue why that has a medium connection, but I don't think it much matters. So they're filling up that maker. Okay, and it makes the food. I still don't understand why you guys are using my rice in there. But. So what do we got for metal? We're still very slowly making metal. So hopefully you're going to work the processor, you are. The medic's not doing anything. Okay, so now we're at a good point. What do we need want to do now? Well I want a control center for sure. Would that be actually a good thing to do? Or can they just walk around? Yeah, actually they could just walk around. The thing is, I don't want them really to breach my base. Making it corridor makes it kind of more protected. Okay, so I'm... Bought out of repair. Engineer. Well, my first kind of goal is the getting these semiconductors but anyway guys i think we'll call it an episode here we'll be back in the next one for more planet base thanks guys later